Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need enough the gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women and folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. <laughs> I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! has helped a great many people. It's the medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Go! Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving never right, boy. No matter how you dress. Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Shed's clear, Marshal. There's 
no good reason for that. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Gonna have ourselves fun. Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Are you kidding? Who's that there? For the love of oh. you down. This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches! Pretty little thing. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down.
people. These are people's lives. People's homes. Ah, uh, boy. We gotta get after those bandits. Hurry, boys. Let's get after them. to stop me <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you but I will you always did have a high opinion of yourself John <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch I guess he was about right get him boys everybody take cover in that shed Honest day's work. There. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, Missy. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. This is pretty nasty. Sorry, partner.
Easy up now. Sir. <laughs> Mister. <laughs> She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. <laughs> the stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. <laughs> Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Howdy.